get more on this situation, security analyst Omar Özkizilçik joins us now from Ankara. Uh, so uh, why is it that these bombardments have been taking place in an area which is supposed to be a de-escalation zone? Actually, it's an uh, escalation uh, which was aimed by the Assad regime from the very beginning. So the Assad regime never wanted a real ceasefire and has systematically opposed a certain level of uh, bombardment there. But wh what is new now is that the Russians also uh, joined in escalation and they also conducted airstrikes over Idlib. And as you said, there are over 100,000 people, civilians, already fleeing from their homes towards the Turkish border. So this new escalation, uh, and there was also today a limited meteor operation on the ground, this new escalation is actually a result of the Russian pressure against Turkey. So the Russians want the Sochi memorandum to be implemented, but the realities on the ground are not uh, ready yet for implementing the memorandum, like the opening of the M5 and M4 highways or joint Turkish-Russian patrols inside the de-escalation zone. Uh, and as these uh, terms of the Sochi memorandum couldn't be implemented, the Russians are putting up pressure in order to uh, pressure Turkey to uh, act on the ground. However, if Turkey wants to act, there are only two options. First, Turkey has to uh, deploy a much higher military deployment inside Idlib, or Turkey has to withdraw and open uh, the way for the Assad regime. In the second case scenario, there, this would be a humanitarian catastrophe, uh, which will uh, target 3.5 3 million civilians. So this is impossible. This is impossible. And to increase the Turkish military deployment inside Idlib, this is something which the Russians and the Assad regime don't want. And also Turkey's priorities aren't currently inside Idlib, but is of the war effects against the YPG. So as I see, there's an escalation now, and I hope that within the diplomatic uh, negotiations and also the Western countries. Uh, the escalation will de-escalate, but there needs to be a workable solution for Idlib, which we, ha which we don't have now. You mentioned the M4 and M5. Uh, these are major highways in Idlib, and apparently uh, rebels are saying that the Syrian government is trying to take control of them. Why are these so important? So one of these uh, highways link Latakia to Aleppo and the other links Damascus to Aleppo. So they are crucial in terms of uh, logistics and economy. And as I stated, within the Sochi memorandum, it was agreed that these two highways will be opened for free trade. But however, as radical groups inside Idlib, like Heta Husham, uh, gained territory and managed to defeat the moderate Syrian opposition, uh, this was uh, couldn't be achieved, and this aim of opening the highways couldn't be uh, succeed. However, I personally think that the M4 and M5 highways are not only about logistic and economy, but also it's the political agenda of the Assad regime. The Assad regime still thinks that uh, it can win the war by military means, and it's every inch policy dictates that the Assad regime will try to capture every inch of Syria by military force, and therefore every uh, pretext for it will uh, be used by the Assad regime, and the Assad regime has no real interest in real ceasefire in Idlib. Omar, thank you. Uh, Omar Ozkiz Zilchik there, speaking to us live.